Nathan, what is the role of PIF? Uh, Personal Injury Education Foundation was established to try and uh, develop, increase the professionalism and capability of those who work in personal injury management. So what we would do is develop educational programs, initiatives and events designed to, to, to improve the capability and professionalism. And has the centre changed over the past five or six years? Um, from my perspective, what I see, it has, it has changed a fair degree. Um, we run awards every, every two years and we started those awards in 2008. We, had a, we got about 50, applicated, 50 nominations. Um, we got uh, 105 for this year's nominations and the quality of those nominations was uh, a significant step forward. Um, it was yeah, great quality, you could see the passion that was really coming through, the innovations that were coming through that we hadn't seen before, um, and all the judging panel, which are an independent panel of judges on our, um, who determined the winners of the awards, also made that same comment. So Nathan, can you share with us what your organisation's strategic plan is and how you'll actually execute on this? Sure. We introduced our new strategic plan beginning in 2011. Uh, and again, it was, a, it was a five year plan like most of them always are. Um, and the objective of this, of our new strategic plan was to try and uh, widen the appeal uh, of our postgraduate programs, or all, all our programs actually. Um, and one of the key, the key initiatives of that strategic plan was to uh, increase to change our postgraduate program to make it more attractive to a wider variety of participants from across the whole personal injury environment. Uh, and what that meant, we worked with Deakin University to look at you know, where, where, what some of the gaps were um, and where we could probably make some improvements to, to that program. And from, from this year, we launched a, uh, a new, four new streams, um, and those are a claims management stream, a business management stream, and starting next year is the dispute management stream. And then from 2014, we have a, a new return to work management stream. So we're really excited about those, those changes. Uh, and that's just one aspect of um, what we're doing to, to, to improve the, uh, the capability of professionalism that I talked about before, but also to get it, um, the message out there to a wider variety of participants. Sure. And can we talk for a moment about some of the hot topics that you think are in existence in the personal injury sector at the moment? What would you say they are? Sure. There's so many in personal injury. Um, I, I won't do it justice if I try to rattle them all off, but what I will say, we're, PIF has a, um, a conference every two years, and what we try to do uh, at those conferences is try and tackle some of those hot topics that are coming up. Um, this year, our conference is in Brisbane at the end of August, so we're very excited. First time we're having, we're having our conference in Brisbane, so um, we're bringing out a lot of keynote, keynote speakers from across the industry, uh, international keynote speakers um, from Canada and the UK, um, and we're talking about the, the, the ageing on, on accident compensation scheme, we're looking at, you know, when work has helped, you know, that work is good for you, all those types of things. So they're some of the key the key things we're looking at, but there's, a, there's so many at our conference, it's, bit hard to do with justice in a, in a five minute interview. Indeed. And can you tell us why you think professionalisation in the personal injury sector is so important? Well this industry has been going for well over 100 years and from all estimates are around about, it's about a $10 billion industry in Australia. Um, there's approximately 10,000 people who work in the industry and to me that's one great, one great reason. Um, Apart from that, uh, I started the industry um, many years ago, I won't say how long, and I, and I fell into it. Um, but I love it, I'm passionate about it, and I want everyone else to be as well. And I think it really, it's about time that we, it is uh, seen as a career of choice. And if we could just get a little bit more personal for a moment. So Nathan, you've been with PIEF since its inception. Uh, you've obviously achieved a lot in your career. Can you share with us what you think has been the best career advice that you've ever received? Well, I'm not sure I've ever, ever had sat down as someone and given me advice, but um, what I would think uh, I've career um, I've learned from others, I think, um, maybe what not what to do, or in in some cases, but also learn from others who what set their style and what I really liked about their style. Um, and what, what I see is that um, I think it's always be good to be calm, um, to be reasonable, to be honest with your staff. And I think also critical is to admit when you're wrong and know when you're wrong and to take um, action to, to rectify it. If you think you're going the wrong direction, don't be too proud to say, we're going the wrong direction, let's change. Well, it's been wonderful talking with you today, Nathan. Thank you very much. My pleasure.